Hey, what's happening guys? And welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance video. Today's gonna be a fun one, guys. We are gonna go through eight really shitty, just awful, horrible fragrances. These are fragrances that I've had for a while, some of which I don't think I've ever even featured on the channel because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to do individual reviews on them, but I don't have the time to do that anymore. I'm just gonna trash them for you guys all at once because they're bad and I can't wait to hear what you think. So, before we jump into this video, if it is your first time here and you enjoy the type of fragrance content that I create, make sure to subscribe. Again, I really appreciate it. We are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. That's a huge milestone for me, and I can't thank you all enough for all the support over the years. It's been so much fun, and it will continue to be fun. Check out my Instagram page, of course, Sense of South Jersey. Just follow it if you're interested in looking at fragrances for my collection, story updates on the channel, fragrances for what I'm wearing, etc. My Mercari page, guys, check that out. Again, the link for my Mercari page is in the description. I am selling a lot of fragrances in my collection that I'm no longer wearing. I want other people to enjoy them, and they are directly from my collection. There's no, um, you know, go-between or anything like that. So, um, you know, make an offer. It's, it's been a lot of fun reaching out, and, and that allows me to bring other things in that I'm interested in reviewing. So these are rare, discontinued, and, and just some other stuff you'll be able to see if you check it out. Also, I'm excited to say that I have, um, you know, now got an affiliate affiliate link with the brand Masudo. And it's not fragrances, it's shirts. You guys know I like button down shirts. I like crazy patterns. I like cuffs. These are Italian style. They're really nice. I've had a lot of Masudo shirts and they actually follow my page. I reached out and just said, hey, you know, do you promote this? I don't promote fragrance brands aside from things that I'm reviewing that I paid for. Do you have affiliate links? Because I thought that would be cool. When you're smelling good and you're going out, it's nice to have some nice shirts. So if you're into this type of thing, check it out. 40% discount. The link for that is in the description as well. So let's not waste any more time. Let's take a look at these eight awful colognes. All right, guys, these are in no particular order except for the very last one. That's the one that I hate the most. But um, this first one is one that I thought I would like. I really did. I thought it was going to be good. It's got a look to it that gives off classic masculine fragrance. I sprayed some on here. It's Vermeil by Jean-Louis Vermeil with its like cigarette lighter, Zippo lighter. Let's spray a little bit more on. And everyone's like, oh, it smells like the classic Davidoff by Davidoff, which I had and sold. But this stuff smells like expired sunscreen and a little bit of like disinfectant. It's very weird and I know it's discontinued, but you can still get it really cheap. And, and just let's take a look at the box. Like they're like, they put it in this plastic box. And at first I was like, oh, wow, like that's cool. It's really nice. And then you get it and you're like, realize it's the biggest piece of crap ever. Um, and the scent is just... Not very good, it stinks. In fact, anyone I think that buys this and reviews it, much like myself, never really wears it. Like I wore it a couple times around my house and every time I'm like, oh, it's okay. And then as it's been on my skin, I'm like, this is trash, I don't want it. I'm never gonna wear it, it's absolutely full. Gonna be on my car if you want it, go buy it. Okay, coming in at number two from the house of Yovan. It is Yovan Sex Appeal. Now this one, there, there's humor to this fragrance, which I appreciate. And it's not the worst of the worst, but it smells like freaking Coca-Cola and musk. Like that's what it smells like. It's got a really cola vibe. Like I think of soda when I spray it on and a little bit of musk. Let's just put some on a strip here. Yeah, it's like a Coca-Cola muskiness. The box is absolutely hysterical. I'm not really gonna, I guess I'm not trashing this one as bad. Sex appeal, now you don't have to be bored with it. This provocative, stimulating blend of rare spices and herbs, I'm sure very rare, was created by a man for the sole purpose of attracting women at will, period. Man can never have enough. Yeah, um, you smell like a guy that's worked at a gas station his entire life, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you just don't have good cologne on. So, um, so Jovan Sex Appeal is super cheap. It's goofy with this like massive cap and like, like look at that, it's, it's, it's funny. Uh, I don't know if it's discontinued. I don't ever really see it anymore. It's gonna be harder to find, but if you want it, Mercari. Okay, coming in at number three. Now, I hate to kind of dump on the little guy, but this is a fragrance that I've had for, I actually forgot I even had it. And I like the brand, Fine Accoutrements. I like the brand. I love Italian Citrus. I really love their impression of Rive Gauche American Blend. But, and I love Platinum Blend Aftershave. But Platinum Blend EDT, ugh, it's an Aventus clone, 
but it just smells like you're wearing a Ventus and then like the first batch because it's very harsh and strong. Um, but then you like went on an experiment to see what being homeless was like for a week. And then you return to your family and you just smell like pepper and mud because that's what this smells like. And I feel bad, but I'm not taking any prisoners today. This stuff, not very good. Wouldn't really like it. I, you know, it's funny. I bought this and then I got a Ventus like not too long after the fact. And it's like virtually full um, with most of these fragrances in this list because I, I don't really like them that much. But yeah, just like a... Just not a good interpretation of Aventus. However, the aftershave is good, though. That's what I don't understand, how that went wrong. But what are you going to do? If you want it, Mercari. Okay, coming in at number four. Now, this one just goes above and beyond in its attempt to make itself look better and higher end than it is. And it's from the house of Fashionable. Fashionable. Or if you're from the American South, it's fashionable. But this stuff, I mean, look at this stupid tin can, like, what is this, Christmas popcorn? I would re-gift this 10 times and it would end up coming back to me. That's how stupid it is. And then you take it out of the box and it's this, they're like, look, we have a leather thing here so that you don't drop the cap. It's so lame. Um, let's spray some on and see what we get. I've had this, I bought it because I wanted to try it and I was just like, wow, <laughs> what a mistake. Smells like light colored, slightly orange truck stop hand soap, white florals, and bug spray. It's not good at all. Um, it's like a even cheaper cool water. Now, cool water doesn't smell bad. I just think it's corny and played out. But this stuff, absolute garbage. And I don't like it. I don't know why. I really, I know I hate the most about it is this big clunky popcorn tin can. Do you ever get a Christmas pop like your parents associate or, or um, what's the word uh, I'm looking for? Acquaintance buys that for your family and it just sits there. It's like if you're Italian, you get the panettone, that thing all the time. Oh man, this sucks. I would never ever wear this out ever again past the time I wore it and spraying it on that card today. That's fashionable. If you're looking for this one, check out my Mercari page. Okay, we're at the halfway mark. Now we are down to the final four. Now this next one was tough for me to bring into this list because you guys know how much I love the original Cerruti 1881. It is one of the best aromatic fougeres, the best classic masculine scents, the best inexpensive fragrances, whether you're buying it vintage or the current, they're all good. Now this one is a flanker. Um, I don't know when it came out. I didn't even bother to look. But it discontinued and it was hard to find and I was like, okay, let me just buy it because I saw it for around 40 bucks. It's Cerruti 1881 Black. Man, I got this in and I knew I was hesitant, but I was like, well, I'm only going to buy one and I'm going to see how it is. And I sprayed it like a couple times. Let's put a little on the strip here. And it, oh God, this is like a little bitch boy scent. It's so sweet and sickly and just cheap smelling. And I, you know, I guess it was like a cash grab scent. It reminds me really of like something like a little kid would wear, like not little kid, but you know what I'm saying? Like high school is what I'm saying. And, and maybe 20, maybe I would have liked it then, but it's a sweet mess, not very good, disappointing because there's some great flankers of Trudy 1881. All those summer ones that I talked about, especially the other one, Edition Blanche, amazing, so good. This shit. Oh yeah, if you want it, go on Mercari. Okay, coming in at number six from the early 90s. This is a fragrance I did a first impression on. And you know what I really did? I tried to like it because I really came around to its predecessor. But the more I wear this one, even at the gym, I was like, God, this smells like absolute garbage the longer I had it on. And I'm going to have to retract anything I said positive about it. And that's Aqua Quorum. Um, this stuff smells like just old dried up lavender and it, there's nothing to it more than that. It's completely one dimensional. It's absolutely horrible. And it, I'm so happy that it's harder to find and discontinued because it shouldn't be in production anymore. And it's just the worst. It's from the house of Antonio Puig. And I'm going to say Puig and not Puj because he doesn't even deserve to have his last name pronounced correctly because of how bad this is. Um, regular quorum is good. I like regular quorum. It's awesome. Not awesome, awesome, but it's, it's really good. And occasionally I wear it and enjoy it, whether it's the vintage, which is the slightly better one or the current. But this stuff trash if you want it mercari okay fragrance number seven this one is definitely the oldest of all the fragrances on this list came out way before 
This one's definitely gonna ruffle some feathers because I know there are people that love this stuff and I tried. I've had it for a long time. I've avoided making the review because I wanted to just keep trying it, keep trying it, keep trying it. I think it's been in some list and I probably gave it a few positive connotations and there's some okay things to it, which I'll mention, but I just go back to my initial thoughts on it that it sucks. And that's the original Aramis. It smells like, like it's just, it's so stuffy. And the spice, there's some night, like at some points I'm like, oh, that smells pretty good. But then as it just sticks around more, it's just got this like floral, soapy, like old lady. It, when people say that smells like an old man, this is what I think of. I would never be angry at somebody or be like, hey, that's not, like you don't know what you're talking about. If they said, this smells like an old um, man, it does. It smells so old. And it is from the 60s, it is old, you know? But it, it just is so stuffy and there's like this, I don't know, sourness to it that I just can't get by. I, it's not the word, like it's definitely better than Zeno. Hell, a lot of things are better than Zeno, um, but I just don't like it that much. And I, I respect it's cla- how it's a classic. It is a strong fragrance, it's a good performer. It just doesn't smell very good. Doesn't smell good, I wouldn't wear it. I've had this two ounce bottle since probably 2017. And like, I've, I've, I've hardly worn it because every time I do, I'm always like, that's just not for me. Sorry, Aramis is kind of shitty. Okay, the final fragrance on this list, fragrance number eight. I have, speaking of putting off a, a, a review, I put this off for years now. And so many people have suggested it to me. I've seen people talk about it. Reviewers I love and watch like this scent. I think it's the worst. It's definitely the worst of this list. I would keep and wear any one of the things I just mentioned if I didn't have to wear this one. Like if it was a trade-off, gun to my head. This is one of the worst fragrances I've ever smelled. It's up there with Zeno and all those like crappy Terry Mouglet fragrances. Amen, that horrible line of, of burnt syrup. It's came out in the year, who gives a shit? It is Dolly Poor Ohm. Before we even get into the scent, let's take a look at this. Like, look at this ridiculous box. It's got this like reset, like again, they go so far to, to make it look more expensive and better than it is because all of the money put into this is just in the box. Um, you know, and then you open it up and look at this bottle. Look at that. It looks like a fat washed up gym teacher with like a huge gut or like some fat genie from Aladdin, like Aladdin's like cheap, crappy, corny, non-Disney made movie brother. I don't know. With the lips, it's so stupid. It's not avant-garde. Like some people think his art is Salvador Dali, but Dali poor ohm. It smells, I'll even spray this on my hand. Forget the tester strip. Got no fragrance on. Oh, it smells just like the inside of a catcher's mitt or the inside of your grandmother's bag or purse with old suede and gum and lipstick that just melted and piss. It sm- this smells horrible. It- it's so awful. Oh, it- it's in the air. It smells bad. On your skin, it smells bad. I, I wouldn't even say this is masculine. This is, ju- this is oppressive. It's offensive. It smells-, it smells like it piss and like, you know, sour leather and like lipstick. Ugh, it's just one of the, honestly, one of the worst. And it's a performer too. It's, you can tell it's strong. It's so awful. And I just hate the bottle. It's just like I said, like a fat washed up car salesman. Like, hey, I can get you, you know, the monthly payment you want if you buy right now. Like, it's really stupid. I don't like the bottle. I really hate the bottle, but I really hate the scent. I don't know if this is still in production or not. If you want it, Mercari. Okay, guys, that is going to wrap it up for me. Those are my eight awful fragrances. You know, I want to hear from all of you. What do you think of the video? Did you enjoy it? Did you disagree with me? I'm sure it's going to upset a few people, but hey, that's what I like to do once in a while. Um, You know, I always appreciate all the interaction. Make sure to comment. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Make sure to check out the Instagram page. Make sure to check out the Mercari page for sure, because I'm definitely going to list all of those if you're interested in getting them. Um, Also, make sure to check out the Masudo page link. Again, 40% off the shirts that they make. Again, they are so cool, and I'm happy to promote them because it's not a fragrance, but it's something that I've loved for a long time. So, um, Um, Anyway, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.